Hello guys, in this tutorial I am going to show you the solution for the application cannot run because the side by side configuration is incorrect. If you are getting this error, the application cannot run because the side by side configuration is incorrect. The best solution for this issue, you can fix this issue in two different way. The first way, go and click Windows and R. Select Windows button and R button in a keyboard and press it together. Type over there regedit.exe. Click OK. That will open your registry editor. Once you open your registry editor, what you need to go is, do is in registry editor go to the hey local machine if you are using windows 10 go to the hey local machine in hey local machine you go and click over here in the software you can go and click over here at first you need to select hey local machine in whole local machine you go and click over here in a software in software you need to go and click over here in the microsoft in microsoft scroll it down scroll it down and you need to click over here in the windows in windows you need to click over here in the current version once you click on the correct current version scroll it down you go and click over here in the side by side once you click over here in the side by side you can see over here winner you can go and click over here in the winner once you click on in winner just scroll it down scroll it down just 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 scroll it down once you scroll it down you can see over here you can see over here just scroll it down you can see over here x86 policy 9.0 microsoft dot bc 90 dot crt underscore and something is written over here make sure that you just need to check these letters up to crt okay so x86 policy 9.0 dot microsoft dot bc 90 dot crt underscore and whatever is written over there just go and click over here in that select the 9.0 you can see over here default in default at first you check here for the highest priority you can see over here this is 9.0.210228 it's 9.30729.8 9.030729.9247 so this one is of highest priority so select this last one check in your system which one is of highest priority click on default in value data you put this one highest priority value data and just press ok and if after doing this much you just go and restart your application and you can just install that application you will not get any more message like side by side configuration is incorrect your application will not display the error like the application cannot run because the side by side in configuration is incorrect you can fix your side by side configuration in correct error using this method but this method is a risky method why this method is a risky method i'll show you i had the same problem i went to the google chrome browser and i searched it for side by side configuration is incorrect in windows 10 for chrome i found the number of solution find the best site with the best solution since it is a microsoft product better choose the microsoft product for the solution sorry better choose the microsoft site for the solution you can see over here answer.microsoft site uh, sorry answer.microsoft.com go over here and click on the site it will give you the best solution once you go over here that is the one step how you do this this error can occur in the number of application it might be with the itunes it might be with the your google chrome or it might be with the microsoft office installation windows 7 x sorry microsoft access installation 
So, in number of application this error occur. This is the first step you follow for every method. For the second step, you just go and so search over here in the Google Chrome. You find the solutions, number of solution, select the Microsoft site and what is the next you need to do. If this error has occurred in a Microsoft Access, if this Microsoft error has occurred in the Microsoft Access, what you need to do is, you need to open your Microsoft Access. Once you have done this with the registry, next you need to do is, you need to open the Microsoft Access for to resolve this issue. Go to the C drive and just find this access executable file msaccss.exe. By default, in Windows 32 version of Windows, locate it in C drive, program files, Microsoft Office, Office 14 folders on N64 in 32 version it will be you will find this file in this folder C drive program file Microsoft Office Office 14 folder for 64 bit of operating system you will find in this folder Microsoft program file x86 Microsoft Office in Office uh, 14 sorry I said wrong in 64 bit you will find in this place for 32 bit of window you will find in this place because x86 is a 32 bit architecture so once you go and open this folder what you need to do is one small changes you just need to create a version msss.exe okay start the installer uh, sorry installer to create a version of msss.exe to start the access using a start button all program microsoft access and access 2010 so once you do this, it will be your issue will be fixed for Microsoft Access. Remember, the first step is always making a change in registry. But doing this is a risky job. Why it is a risky job? It is clearly mentioned in the site that this issue is caused due to conflict with some of the files in Windows 2010 version of C runtime libraries. This library are a part of Visual Studio 2008 releases. The version numbers starts with 9.0. This library may be installed with uh, several different Microsoft and third party product. So if you follow these steps and take a risk, your computer might get into risk and some of the more error may occur and you need to just format your systems and reinstall your operating system. So be sure and be uh, safe and just make these uh, changes or you can get uh, this uh, for this problem you can just go with uh, another default solution also you can just go to the chrome browser and search for ccleaner ccleaner once you go and search the ccleaner you will find that ccleaner the most world most popular pc cleaner go to this site perifarm.com slash ccleaner is the best place to download and install ccleaner. Install the ccleaner in your system. Open the ccleaner and select the registry. You can see over here, open the ccleaner. At first you need to download and install. Go to that site, you will find the download link, download and install it. Just go and open the ccleaner. Once you open the CCleaner, go to the registry, click on all the icons, scan for the issue and fix the registry issue. This can fix the most of the problems. I am not sure that it will fix all your error with the all kinds of installation. Installation error can be in iTunes, in Chrome, in Microsoft Access 2007 and many more applications. So some of the error can be fixed with the help of this. If this doesn't fix you, uh, your error, you go with the same method or just format your windows sorry you just go with the same methods if it doesn't fix with a C cleaner there is no alternative way you have to follow the same method or just be sure that make sure that sorry just one thing you need to keep in your mind before going through this method that if you do any simple mistakes while doing this you need to format your windows there is no other choice for this and one more thing i would like to tell you that when i went to the google chrome browser and start searching for a solution 
I thought only changing in registry can help me, but only the making changes in registry won't help you. Go to the Microsoft site and find the solution for different. If you have heard the Chrome, changing a registry is one thing, but application has failed because uh, you can see here, but changing the, okay, changing the uh, registry is not enough. You need to go in C program, okay, C program, uh, sorry, C drive, program files, and you need to make some changes in the setup.exe file over here. So in order to do this, uh, you just uh, be sure that uh, you do it properly, okay? So if you just really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep your thumbs up. Thank you for watching the video.